Second line is about assassinating all genres, uh, assassinating all stereotypes, assassinating the idea that race dictates where your artistic vision should reside. Yes. Um, and it's about versatility. Yeah. I, I want to have an album that speaks to the versatility and flexibility of the black woman or the black artist in general uh, in this music industry. And I'm really excited about putting New Orleans in the forefront, showing New Orleans in a way that maybe most people haven't seen it being shown. What's it for me? What's it for me? And show the possibilities of what a New Orleans artist, what a sound, uh, and what a female from the Lower Night Ward um, can bring to the table. When I hear the word black excellence, what comes to mind um, immediately culture, fly sauce drip. Uh, I think about the royalty and regalness of the beauty of our skin, the mahogany and the melanin in our tone, the way we speak, the accents that we have, the way in which we apply our talents and our art. Um, when I think of black excellence, when I hear black excellence, um, I think of culture, I think of society and how everyone and anyone uh, takes a little bit from who we are. Because I think we are excellent. What is the best moment uh, that I can remember that still sticks to me uh, now in this business, in this industry? Uh, I think the biggest moment was the moment I decided to keep going when everyone else rejected me. Uh, when everyone else said I wouldn't be able to, to be to do this sound, to create this lane because of being a black woman, it would be difficult. And still persevering and still being here today uh, and still rocking and still believing in myself. My idea of success is very different than others. Uh, I believe success is when you can maneuver, move, shift, pivot uh, on your own and be able to stand on your own two feet uh, on your own terms. And I think that's important, that's success for me. And uh, I feel like that moment that I decided to stand up for myself was the moment uh, I will never forget. One thing I never leave the road without is cash. I was always taught as a Southern girl, my dad always used to say, always have some type of cash on you because you never know when that an emergency might happen and you need to hustle and get out of something. So I always have a little pocket cash on me just in case I need to dip and move and shift in a fast manner. Always to like a, a diff, different currencies to on me, always. Just kind of like a little a little safe safety net situation in case. I sound like a mafia person. The lightning round, so here we go. Who are you, a superhero? What do you value most? Uh, peace. Uh, if I was a food, would I be? I would be a white truffle uh, risotto. Straight up, an acquired taste, but a delicacy nonetheless. What can you look for from me next? I'm going on tour with the amazing Purity Ring. Check out uh, MergeRecords.com to check out my uh, tour dates. I'm super excited. It's starting October 22nd all the way through to December 12th. Get your tickets now because we are taking the second line, the Electric Revival Live.